everyone, my name is Chantel and welcome to another video. It's time for another episode of Husband Picks. So let's see what he's got in store for me this month. I've got a piece of paper here and something double bagged. It feels big. Let's see what the instructions are. It's time for another practical Husband Picks. Found this for free and thought it would be great for Lilypad. She is our little daughter. She is 22 months. So, she loves bats. Use your imagination. When you're done, I'll take care of the last step. Okay, so this would be another collab. Cool. Let's get started. Oh dear. What have we got? This is a ukulele, an Ashton one. So I'm going to take this thing apart, at least that bit and that bit. I don't play guitar or ukulele or in any instrument myself. I sing, not today. <laughs> and then I'm gonna sand it and um, make a nice painting on it. So, um, Let's get going. As I mentioned earlier, I started by taking the tuners off. I could not take the bridge and the saddle off. That is the part at the bottom of the ukulele because it was glued down. But you will see I use tape to protect it from paint. Then onto the part we all dread before painting anything and that's sanding the whole thing. I used the coarse, medium and fine grain sandpaper. When everything looked smooth and matte, I went in with a white acrylic paint as a base coat and applied two layers. I applied it with a sponge because I like the texture it gives. Parallel to the bridge, I draw a line and on top of that line, I draw a cat. Even though we don't have any cats, our little one loves them. She also has a thing for bats, because they rhyme, maybe? So keeping the instructions of a bat in mind, I decided to paint a cat. Sitting on a, perhaps a wall or a ledge, looking up at the sky where there are, you guessed it, bats. I use simple washi tape to get the straight line of the wall. When the black part is dry, I take some washi tape to keep that line crisp and tape it down to create the background. I wanted this ukulele to have a dark vibe but still have vibrant colors. 
I went with a sunset going into a purple and a very dark blue night sky. Again I am using a sponge to apply the paint. It creates a texture which I like and you can achieve some nice gradients doing it this way. I could still see the outline of the cat through the light paint. I painted it with a detailer brush and some watered down black acrylic paint. Then I started on the bats. In the same way I painted the cat, but soon decided that I needed a black Posca pen to make my life a lot easier and at 8pm I went out and got two black Posca pens. Why didn't I get them to start with is a very fine question. On one side I created a tree to create a little bit more interest. Because I really like Tim Burton, I decided that the tree needed to have a few more angles to make it Burton-esque. Then I drew in clouds with my white Posca pen, blended the base of the cloud out with some water and a paintbrush and filled in the top of the clouds with white acrylic paint.
And then, of course, against the night sky, we cannot forget and we must draw some stars and some little planets. I wrote her name down with a white Posca pen in my own hand lettering on the fret spaces and added more stars. Off camera I coated the whole ukulele in a clear protective coat of varnish and, and finally I put all the tuners back where they belong. So I was going to film my husband playing the ukulele so you could all hear what it sounds like. After restringing the ukulele it turns out that this is just a crappy old thing and it's very much out of tune because the frets are not in their proper place. So I will have to do this again at some point when we have a proper ukulele. But I still had fun. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this project and if you did please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget you can click the subscribe button to not miss out on any future videos. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!